On the streets of Istanbul, you'll find an ice cream that's like no ice cream you're used to. Try to keep your eye on the cone. This ice cream stretches like taffy, but it melts in your mouth. Back in New York, a few chemists are trying to recreate the ice cream and figure out what makes this traditional Turkish recipe so stretchy. Kent Kirschenbaum, a chemist at NYU, is explaining his findings to members of a food science group called the Experimental Cuisine Collective. In fact, he's the founder. Let's just begin the same way that a chemist or a chef would begin. What's in it? Answer, sugar, milk, mastic, that's sap from a particular evergreen tree that grows on the island of Chios in Greece, and salop, which is the ground-up root of orchids that grow in Turkey. Just as an aside, these orchid roots happen to have unusual protuberances, which are said to resemble fox testicles. So sometimes the name that's given to this is fox testicle ice cream. Okay, so in these ground-up orchid tubers is a molecule called... Called glucomannan. It's a long chain of sugar molecules that happens to be excellent at absorbing water. In fact, glucomannans are even used in diapers sometimes. This is really the crucial aspect of what's giving rise to the unusual physical properties of, of the ice cream product. The science is in. This paper, for instance, shows that the more salop you add to the ice cream, the more viscous it is. But what if that's not the whole story? Kirschenbaum and his students, Ricky Silver and Ariel Johnson, wondered if the mastic maybe had some stretch effect. They tested the hypothesis by whipping up batches of ice cream and varying the amount of mastic. Hopefully you'll take our word for it that we've seen so far that the one with more mastic is more stretchy and at least uh, thicker. Exactly how it works will take more research. So that's the science, but how does it taste? An expert food writer was also at the talk that day. I'm Corbett Comer at the Atlantic Monthly. So we asked, how would you describe it? Okay, it's like a slightly bitter taffy with this very taffy-like consistency. And it's as if it were a sour, bitter cough drop, but with this interesting, sweet, herbaceous overtone. Some of that flavor is the mastic coming through, which is piney tasting. Ariel Johnson, a chemistry major at NYU, is working with Kirschenbaum on the recipe. In fact, she happens to have a background in ice cream. I worked at a, an ice cream store in Boston. Um, I didn't make it, unfortunately. I was more doing scooping. But now she's on the development side, looking at the chemistry of cream. By approaching it from a different light, you can really, you know, say like, oh, I see this, you know, is the exact molecular reason why this does it, and it makes me feel that way. And I think that's really a wonderful thing, you know, com combining, you know, sort of scientific understanding with an emotional experience. I think that's really great. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.